Hello, Lori. Hey, Ben. So, Lori, um, I just like to um, have you, in your own words, briefly share with us. Could we uh, get Lori's slides on the slide projector? That'd be great. Um, if we can do that, I'd like to have you uh, talk to us just a little bit about what kind of work you do and why you do it. Okay. Well, I think that there is a direct correlation between uh, music and painting, visual art. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, while Ben is performing, I'm going to respond in a visual way through paint to the music. So it's going to be really exciting, and I loved what Ben was talking about, where he gets excited about not knowing the outcome, because I really don't know either. There's a risk involved here. So we're all going to um, do an experiment here at TEDx Waterloo. That's, part, um, that's what it's, today's about, right? That's great. Yeah. Now, I have some slides on the, on the screen here. This is some of Lori's work. Lori, can you tell us a bit about where and what you're doing yeah, in this? Yeah, this is the Lila Bialy Trio. I painted her um, and her trio um, in a set of, I think there were two 40-minute sets. So it was a fairly large painting. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the first time I'd actually experienced this direct painting uh, to live music, which was so exciting for now, me. Now, this is something you do all the time. This is your thing. As often as I can. That's great. And do you always work in... Uh, in, in live concert halls, bar, bars, that kind of thing? Or do you go um, and sit with painters? Some of them have been in bars, some of them have been in concert halls, a vineyard one time. Um, any place that's going to be comfortable for the musicians. So this is actually the first time I've actually done something like this um, on such a, short, with such a short time frame. Yeah, it'll be it'll interesting. Be so we're going to have uh, Lori outside with Ben. Now, Ben, you're going to be providing music and inspiration for a painting. What exactly are you doing? Good question. What am I doing exactly? <laughs> it will be improvised. Um, I'm going to be performing in a kind of a surround sound, I guess, or more like a distributed sound situation. So again, analogous to this experimental idea, um, I'm going to be improvising and creating uh, loops with uh, this piece of technology, which is only about 800 years old, uh, along with another piece of technology, which is actually much, much older, and that's the computer. Uh, and uh, you think I jest? If anyone knows what the Antikythera mechanism is, you'll understand why I call the computer an older mechanism than the hurdy-gurdy. Um, and through that process, I will be creating a kind of a musical puzzle. I'll be sitting in one particular spot and playing, but uh, the, the sounds I'll be creating will be distributed throughout the lobby space, in fact, down both sides and across the back. And it is in the form of a kind of a musical puzzle. And it's, uh, it's a kind of an invitation for each um, person here to create his or her own experience as they wander through the space, uh, chatting and uh, making sounds of their own um, and uh, nibbling on some lovely food, from what I can tell. I can't wait. I think uh, I join, uh, I, I speak for everybody here to say we're really excited to figure out what, what happens with this collaboration, this experiment, and I invite all of you to join us um, outside in the break as these two create together. Uh, thank you very much, Ben. Thank you. Thank you very much, ben.